Hey y'all, Irix guy here, uh, Chef Irix guy that is, and I just want to give a uh, quick video of what's uh, what's smoking today. Now these are wood chips. I'm doing hickory today, and uh, and then I've got a concoction. This is just a little spray uh, that I spray on periodically every every hour or so. It's just a mixture of um, got a little bit of apple juice, some vinegar, uh, some lemon juice, a little bit of hot sauce. And uh, let's see, what else did I put in there? Some Worcestershire, just to keep the, uh, the meat more moist while it smokes. Now then over here, we've got the Dynaglow uh, vertical smoker. Again, you can check the link within this video's description uh, to find all of this online. This is the, it's just a really cool smoker because you can see the temperature is great. I'm, I'm running it a little bit warmer today. Uh, typically, I'll smoke around 225, but today I'm doing about... Uh, I think it's around 270. You can see right there where it's kind of gray. Uh, that just indicates the optimal smoking range. Obviously, with smoking, you want low and slow. Uh, but you can see it's probably around 270 or so right now. But let's see what we got in here. I'm going to open this up to spray. I'm not going to spray with the camera out because I don't want to get it on the lens. But you can see I've got chicken thighs on the top. And you can configure these racks in different uh, different configurations. But I've got chicken thighs on the top. And then on the next rack, I've got country-style ribs. So just two racks in there today. Again, it comes with, uh, and, and you can check the link within this video's description. I think it comes with six. Uh, but for my purposes today, I, I only needed two. So just a really good smoker. If you're looking to, uh, if you're looking to enjoy smoked meat, smoked vegetables, uh, this is a good option. I know the past few years I was using an electric, uh, which was a good, uh, it was a good option, and I enjoyed it, but I just wanted to get back into charcoal. Um, obviously, the heat source of this is charcoal, and then the, uh, the flavor enhancement. That's when you put your soaked hickory or, or cherry or uh, apple wood. There's a variety of woods, and actually I've got links to all the wood within this video's description as well, if you want to order it online. It doesn't take a lot of wood. You're just adding wood to add the smoke flavor. It's the charcoal that's actually providing the heat to, uh, to do the cooking. Uh, so thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash Guy, and enjoy all of Chef Guy's barbecue smoking videos. Y'all have a good day.